Hi guys, welcome to Coda Design Lab. This is video number 63 for learning MEMS system in Django with React JS. In this video, we are going to work on the student panel. Okay, in the previous video, what we have seen, uh, student can uh, upload the assignment. Uh, upload, you can say add the assignment. Okay, then uh, he can see that what assignments has been added for the student. Okay, now it's time to work on the student dashboard. So when student uh, student can see the assignment in his dashboard, uh, here we will uh, you know here we will show the assignments, okay, and uh, those assignments uh, will show, okay, so assignments will show, and then uh, student can take action. He can upload anything, okay, uh, regarding to the assignments, and he can add the title and the image, right? Title, image, and detail you can see, okay. So uh, let's work on the student panel. So we need to we need to create the sidebar assignments, and then when we click on that, it will show the all assignment that has been uh, assigned to this particular student, and uh, then uh, we will uh, uh, add action that uh, he can upload the assignment. He can you can say uh, add assignment you can say or upload assignment action okay so let's work on the student dashboard so i'll open i'll open the uh, front end we have this source uh, we have this component we have this user and uh, sidebar so first of all we will create favorite course recommended course profile setting we will copy this and paste it here and we will say uh, co teacher assignments teacher assignments right and uh, just simply assignments right so this will be assignments assignments okay so we need to create this okay so let's copy this and paste it here we will just simply say assignments okay and here we will pass the you know student ID only okay so and the component name will be user assignments oh uh, no student assignments okay so component name is student assignments and uh, assignment student id mm, student assignments actually right so we will where is the show assignment here copy this paste it here uh, show student assignments student assignments right uh, this will be belongs to user user let's copy this paste it here after the recommend course hmm. now we need to create the student assignment component okay so here, sorry uh, when we will okay we don't, didn't created any component yet so that it is saying so what we will do like my courses like my courses we will uh, show that okay so let's open the component user my courses hmm? and uh, cop all copy new and let's say new one is student assignments right so name it student assignments right here okay and this is student data fetch we can simply say uh, we need to fetch only the uh, assignments according to the student right so first of all let's mark as a assignment data and this will be assignment data uh, 
student id is correct right so set assignment data we need to work on the url right so we will say we have url i'll remove this i'll remove this remove this show assignment is completed teacher course no need this one no need model maybe need okay so student assignment let's create another let's say we will say we will say mm, fetch fetch uh, student assignment and here we will only pass the student id hmm? so let's name it student id okay and in the assignment view here in the assignment view if if we have i have had multiple conditions here you can see that if by default it will work like this and if we have uh, what's the url is okay actually we can't do this can't do the same thing we need to think something different okay so we are passing here the student assignment assignment list okay let's copy this let's copy this and paste it here and let's say my assignment my assignment here we are and we we'll just pass the mm, student id and here we say my assignment list okay and in the view in the view what i will do i will copy this hmm, and paste it here and i'll say my assignment list okay and we just fetch the data according to the student student here right so my assignment list so from the url my assignments and uh, here we will pass student assignment here we will pass the student id right so my assignments right name created by okay so assignment data so name is name should be row dot um, id we don't need this actually we don't need this link actually don't need this link or maybe we need this okay and this will be the course title this will be the teacher dot id this will be the teacher dot full name teacher detail is fine right so user dashboard assignments okay so we have this assignments and but we are doing nothing okay let's go to the console actually network hmm. so when we click on the assignments it's doing nothing it should fetch the data huh? assignment data here we need to do this okay so let's go here uh, let's main hmm? so assignments we need to pass a student id we need we don't need this we will say my assignments my assignments right in the sidebar where is the sidebar we have okay so sidebar where is the sidebar sidebar here my assignments okay and don't have this url we ha we don't have this url now dashboard my assignments here you can see that okay so when we click on the my assignment uh, this is showing the assignment created by and uh, who, who is the teacher and created by so let's uh, add here uh, okay so we have a we are showing the assignment now 
we need to uh, student can take action he can uh, add something like upload something uh, uh, via this assignment right so <coughs> uh, upload assignment data hmm? or uh, yes so teacher can add the title detail uh, in the detail teacher will explain that what kind of assignment is this and according to that student can take action right so when we when a, a student click on this assignment it should show the detail actually my assignment in the my assignment section we should show the detail also title let's show the detail also let's show the detail okay so this is title and detail right and here it is a teacher <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay so teacher upload the assignments we don't need this link actually because student is not going to take any action okay he will do he will manage that things uh, you know uh, manually we are not going to do anything uh, in the student panel so uh, student can see the assignment okay and uh, take action according to that and uh, what we should do we should uh, notify anything for the let's let's say a uh, st uh, student can uh, mark here the assignment done okay he can only mark the assignment done or uh, he can upload not upload exactly he can just uh, mark as done okay he can done uh, he can mark as done the assignment okay so that teacher can see see that this assignment was done by the student okay he in the dashboard when he go to the student list he can see that uh, this uh, when he click on this then he can see that this assignment has been done so okay so in the next video we will work on the student action that uh, student how the student will take action and make the mark and what things we need to uh, change in the model and all the things okay so thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will work on the user action right so thank you so much